गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन एट फर्स्ट आई वॉन्ट टू थैंक द ऑर्गेनाइजर सो एज द टाइटल ऑफ माई टॉक सजेस्ट आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट हाउ कैन वी रिड्यूज द वेटिंग टाइम्स इन क्यू विथ सर्विस रिसेटिंग क्यू इज अ रियल वर्ल्ड प्रॉब्लम्स इन अवर डेली लाइफ वी हैव टू स्टैंड इन अ क्यू टू गेट सम सर्विस स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द बैंक इन द सुपर मार्केट इन द टिकट काउंटर और एट द टाइम ऑफ एयरप्लेन बोर्डिंग एवरी वन ऑफ हर्स हैव टू वेट फॉर सम टाइम टू गेट द सर्विस सो what we will usually think that what are the factors which will determine the length of the queue so primarily one would think that the arrival rate of the jobs and the service rate are the key factors uh or so suppose you are in a supermarket though uh, there there the arrival rates of the customers and the service person at the cash counter are the key factors which will determine the length of the queue but are these only two factors which determine the length of the queue so let us discuss that so suppose in a uh, you are in a supermarket and you were shopping so after you have done your shopping you want to stand in a queue to make the payment now you see there are two queues in front of the cash counter one of the queue is larger than the other and for the first queue as the queue is large so you would expect that the mean service time of this uh, service person uh, is higher compared to the Uh, cashier on the other counter then what will what uh, we will usually do we uh, stand in the shorter queue but after some time uh, you may find that the last uh, sorry so the last person has already made their payment and has gone out of the queue while you are wait, while you are waiting in the uh, queue to get your service and you were stuck in the queue so if this happens with every one of us the queue we select to stand moves slower than the other queues why is this so so here comes the inspection paradox which says that we are biased when we are visiting something at random times so uh, suppose for the first queue though the service the mean average the uh, average service time is larger for this person it can happen the fluctuation is large so suppose uh, the mean service time is 4 minutes but sometimes it takes 4 minutes sometimes it takes 5 minutes or sometimes 3 uh, minutes so the fluctuation is uh, small so the intervals are almost equally spaced but here it can happen for uh, him though the service uh, average service time is small the fluctuation can be large therefore the intervals are not equally spaced it can happen the average service time is 2 minutes for him but sometimes he can take 1 minute sometime 2 minutes or so even sometimes he can take 7 or 8 minutes to serve so the as the fluctuation is not equally spaced the intervals are not equally spaced it can happen so that the inspection paradox says that we will fall at the position when the interval is large that's why you have to wait a longer time you will fall in this the probability is large that you will be fall in this large interval therefore there is a tendency or to observe the uh, large interval and so not only the arrival rate of the customers and the service rate of the uh, service person uh, person determine the length of the queue but also fluctuation plays a important role here to determining the queue length and the mathematical quantity is here is the coefficient of variation which is the fluctuation in service time uh, divided by the mean of the service time and uh, for uh, this distribution you can see as the mean is uh, much greater than the uh, fluctuation or the standard deviation so for this narrowly dispersed case the coefficient of variation is uh, smaller than 1 for the marginally dispersed case the fluctuation uh, the standard deviation and the mean are uh, comparable and cv is 1 but for the broadly dispersed case the fluctuation is much greater than the mean so the uh, coefficient of variation is uh, greater than 1 and now i will discuss about a uh, queue where the jobs are served based on the first come first served policy so here you can uh, see a queue here uh, the jobs are uh, arrival at a rate lambda and this is the server and after uh, the job, job the job is served they just gone out of the queue so the to the mean number of jobs here given by the famous polacek kinchin formula uh, given uh, named after the two people uh, felix polacek and alexander kinchin so here the mean number of jobs 
uh, you can see uh, n is the mean number of jobs and uh, s is the average service time and here lambda is the arrival rate and rho is lambda multiplied by s which is called the utilization parameter and you see not only the, uh, the average number of jobs depends on the arrival rate and, or the service time it is uh, it depends on the cv square or the coefficient of variation or the fluctuation so if cv square is greater than 1 this term is positive so that it will contribute to the average number of jobs in a uh, in the queue at the steady state and this n so this n is highly fluctuate uh, highly sensitive to the fluctuation and it increases with the coefficient of variation so if you now plot the mean number of jobs at in the queue at steady state it will be monotonically increasing function of the coefficient of variation it increases linearly as the fluctuation in service time increases so all of us we want to try the, the minimize our waiting time so that we have to wait for a minimum time to get our service so what can be the strategy to reduce this uh, mean uh, waiting time so so uh, resetting the service can be one of the answers. So first I will give a, a brief overview about resetting. So uh, resetting was generally motivated by the problem of uh, search problem, to motivated by the search problems. So search problems are everywhere, like we are the animals searching for food, we are searching for our glasses or the keys, and we have write, written a code and we try to uh, debug our code, search problems are everywhere. So it can happen, you uh, trying to find the solution or your target for uh, some time but within that uh, within that some finite time you could not manage to find your object so what you can do you can just stop there and you restart you just start the process afresh and this time it can happen that within uh, some, uh, as you are following a different trajectory here, so you may get different pathways to explore and you can find the target this time much faster and easily. So uh, stochastic resetting uh, can expedite the random search process. Suppose you have a process which starts here and finish here, so uh, within some time you cannot find the object, uh, your target and you just reset afresh and there is a higher possibility that you will find the target now more faster. And it has been shown if the fluctuation or the coefficient of variation is greater than one, restart, it is guaranteed that restart will uh, help you to finish the process, process faster. So here, uh, here I have shown again the broadly dispersed curve. Here as the fluctuation uh, is greater than the mean, so CV will be greater than one. Now, what we mean when we say Q with resetting? So here I will talk about the case when fluctuation is intrinsic to the server. Uh, I have told before that the fluctuation uh, in service, uh, there is a fluctuation in service time. But this fluctuation in service time can arise uh, due to a number of facts. Like if suppose you are shopping and you have four bags of items, someone, uh, your next person have 10 bags full of items. So there will, the, the, their service time cannot be equal. The server must take different time or uh, there will be a fluctu higher fluctuation uh, in the system when persons, uh, when the customers have different number of items. But here I am talking about the when the fluctuation is intrinsic to the server. That means, suppose uh, the service person or the cashier are serving uh, for a longer time. She, he or she may get tired and there will be a fluctuation in the service time. And what do you mean by server uh, reset, service resetting here? So you can reset the server or you can reset the service. How can you do that? You just, you can uh, give the cashier a break just give him a coffee break and bring a new service guy in the system and this is this effectively will the, uh, decrease the mean queue length with uh, the fluctuation so in this picture you can see the red uh, curve was the mean number of jobs which was monotonically increasing with the fluctuation in the system as soon as we uh, incorporated resetting in the system the mean number of jobs deviates uh, from the red curve the green one i'm talking about it will uh, deviate from the red one and will st start decreasing even you can see when the uh, fluctuation is larger in the system but the mean number of jobs is decreasing with the fluctuation 
and this to be noted that when uh, the mean number of jobs for a higher value of fluctuation is even lower when there was no fluctuation in the system so the negative effect of the fluctuation which was giving rise to the longer queue and a larger waiting time now uh, the stochastic resetting or resetting service uh, reverse the effect uh, the stochastic fluctuation and you can uh, see this major drawback has been turned into a advantage so what uh, we have done so we have uh, associ we have associated a overhead time with the queue what do we mean by overhead time suppose you are working on your desktop and it is lagging what will you do you just uh, restart your computer but this rebooting your computer will take some finite time right and so if you, when you are resetting your server it will take some finite time so that a new server come and he will accustom to the new job so he will uh, he or she will take some time before serving uh, before serving the jobs that's why a uh, overhead time or a time penalty can be associated uh, with resetting and here we have uh, taken uh, so different distribution of the overhead time and each of the cases uh, we have seen that this the mean number of jobs is decreasing with the uh, fluctuation in the system uh, we have uh, taken uh, cvs on is equal to 0 and cvs on uh, sn is deterministic that means the every time the sn is uh, random but it's fixed and uh, for some of the uh, for other cases the uh, overhead time comes from different distribution but for every cases we have uh, uh, we have shown that the service resetting uh, uh, with service resetting you can decrease the mean number of jobs with the coefficient of variation and which is which deviates from the original uh, polozak kinchen formula which was linearly increasing with the fluctuation but uh, service resetting decrease the mean number of jobs so that you have to wait for a minimum time to get your service done and so the detrimental effect of the fluctuation in queue uh, can be mitigated by uh, service resetting even in the presence of an overhead time uh, service resetting reduces uh, the mean number of jobs so when there is no hope and you are in doubt just remember to reset thank you thanks a lot for this nice talk again